Hi everyone, welcome back to our another episode. So today we want to talk about upcoming new moon. New moon will happen this Saturday, sign of a Virgo. And before we get into that, let's just talk about the Mars in Gemini mm -hmm. briefly. It just went in. Um, right now it's a two degree on the new moon day of it, it's gonna be four degree so gemini is all about local community and transportation and short distance trip so speaking of which we actually made a day trip to Cherno. it take us six hours to get there right and then we actually came back in same day so that's the kind of energy of the mars in gemini mars energizing this kind of energy to get it done so we just want to <laughs> talk about it a little bit because 12 hours of driving mm -hmm. within 24 hours including working time so we worked like a three four hours yeah right so yeah. it was a lot of driving time however mars helped us to get it done mm -hmm. so that's the energy we're having um and let's go into the new moon. Actually, new moon. Is happening here, if you can see. And four degree in sign of Virgo and is actually squaring Mars in Gemini. So I zoomed in so you can see better because it was a little bit uh, far. Anyway, so Mars want to do everything in sign of Gemini, right? Because mm -hmm. Gemini is about to see all the polarity. Mars just want to experience every possible situation. But Virgo, have you ever worked with a Virgo person? Let's talk about Virgo, actually. Yeah, Virgos are perfectionists by nature. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. if you your boss is mm -hmm. a Virgo, unfortunately, you have to provide a lot of plan. This is my um, you know, like to do list. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this on this day. I will make sure I will submit this by that mm -hmm. day. So Virgo really, really, really want all plan yeah and the details very yeah. practical yeah. yeah so virgo is a very practical uh -huh. person virgo is virgo peoples are the best people to work with because yeah. they provide a plan they stick with it they're very steady very grounded and service oriented mm -hmm. yeah. but gemini is very curious sign uh -huh. So this curious sign, it's very hard to contain, but Virgo is asking, what is your plan? But Mars not going to give Virgo the answer. That's why they are squaring each other. However, Mars has really beautiful trine energy with Mercury. And this is really interesting uh, situation right now because... Mercury, the ruler, the corresponding card in tarot is the magician. Magician rules the two different signs, which is Libra and the Gemini. You mean Virgo and Gemini. Oh yeah, Virgo and Gemini. <laughs> so the Virgo can get the uh, planning and all other what Virgo needs to get it done through mercury mm -hmm. because mars cannot provide that but mars can do this through mercury so mercury being in libra can provide a lot of verbal kind of communication and objectivity as well as looking at the whole spectrum and just being objective right and uh and fair yeah Also, this new moon is a really, really nice moon to work within because Virgo 
corresponding card in tarot is hermit. Hermit is a light bringer, mm -hmm. and also you can become a light bringer um, using this new moon energy, working with the Mars, and Mars will be doing the curious um, thing and the explore all the possible situation in uh, whatever you're facing in right now and use the mercury energy to put that into the communication just bring that out because mercury is representing our thought how we think how we speak and this is our mercury so whatever you learn don't make any decision don't put any um anything into the like conclusion so just see the whole spectrum and use mercury's energy use this libra energy you know balancing right just see all the spectrum just talk about it and use this uh virgo new moon energy to make a plan to see the whole spectrum especially uh, when you see um you know every planet is retrograded right now and the Mars will go in retrograde in October 30, but that's another story. However, when the slow moving planets are retrograde, and this is a perfect time to work on uh, inner work and just see the whole spectrum and just become, just own your hermit. Use this energy to go within, find out what will really resonate to you. So depending on where uh, Virgo falls in your birth chart, you definitely want to work on developing a healthy routine for the next six months when we reach the Virgo full moon. And during this time, Mars is going to want to get things done, but focus on using that Mars energy internally and then making sure that you're fact-checking against does it really serve me and serve my higher purpose and then utilizing that. And once you come to a decision, then, you know, when um, Mars comes out of the retrograde and Mars goes into cancer, then you can really just start to implement that energy in a very balanced and harmonious way. And also let's look at uh, Venus here. Venus and Saturn has a strong opposition. This means uh, whatever we want to do, whatever we like to do, the Saturn in Aquarius, the rule, it can be government, it can be our parents, authority, our boss, mm. whatever, like higher than us in the hierarchy system doesn't want us to do. This can mean, you know, like a lockdown to, you know, like I cannot, you know, buy certain thing anymore. Mm. I cannot do my hobby anymore, depending on where you're you know, like a Venus falling into your personal chart, but in collective level, Venus, what we love to do, Saturn is opposing this energy and we have a tight T-square between this Uranus and Uranus has this energy between Saturn too. So right now, this triangle energy, we call that T-square, is a building up. It's really, really, really strong. And Uranus is a really quick, fast, unexpected um, energy. So Uranus in Taurus can manifest in natural disaster. It can come to hurricane, flood, some kind of like strong, severe weather. So this energy is really, really strong. So this energy have to go somewhere, right? So in astrology, the release point will be the opposite sign. So in opposite sign, we don't have anything here. However, the natural energy flow come down to here. So here will be the releasing point. And we happen to have south node in here so the transiting south node is here right now but technically um south node doesn't make any aspect because this is a calculated um energy point in the our sky um uh, and also south node is about the releasing what we want to release it's like kind of losing energy so this is creating portal right now to to release this 
crazy steam, high steam energy. Tension, yeah. Tension. Yeah. And also, Scorpio is all about trauma, mm -hmm. right? So if you have any trauma holding into your life, depending on your rising sign, so the Scorpio will place it throughout first house to the 12th house. It's all depending on you. However, collect as a collective reading, so it's south node, our trauma, inner child trauma, or even the toxin building up in our body. Yeah, or even addictions too. Addictions yeah. as well, exactly. Mm -hmm. We can release this through here, from here to here. Oh, and also the Scorpio can be um, secret. So secret might release all the hidden information that we never uh, knew about mm -hmm. might get a list of around this new moon based on this uh, tight T square and there's still a listing point. Okay, so to sum up during this new moon, um, you just really want to ask yourself, whatever you're going through in life, ask yourself, does it serve my highest good? And, you know, really just think about it, internalize it, and just, just wait for a good, solid answer. And if it doesn't, then, you know, just release that energy, you know, just use that uh, south node in Scorpio uh, energy to just release any of that negativity or trauma or pain that you're going through. And also use this new moon in Virgo energy to go mm -hmm. within again. So the Virgo is all about the hermit, mm -hmm. go within, bring the light inside of you in your heart yeah and it's really about knowing thyself right mm -hmm. so just ask yourself is it aligned with me mm -hmm. and then let's share our bigger screen mm -hmm. this virgo new moon will bring a lot of uh thinking and planning and also uh the ruler of the virgo is mercury right so we talked about it so mercury is all about how we think how we act also, Mercury rules our nervous system, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to calm down our nervous system, you just have to breathe. If you have a sage, do sage. If you have a crystal, just like this, do meditation. That will really suit you down. And I hope you enjoy this new moon. And we will come back with another reading. All right, take care.